Hey guys, I'm Efren Herrera, light painter and photographer, brand ambassador for light painting brushes. I specialize in light painting portraits and today we're going to be talking about the light whip. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might have recently seen a picture that I shared. Um, I created a really cool image with Melissa Meyer and the tool that I used was the light whip itself. Uh, I also used a universal connector um, attached so I could connect my um, flashlight, just like that. Now the flashlight that I used to create this was the Eagle Tac D25 LC2. XML2 Tactical. It's about 1,200 lumens and it's super powerful. Um, I really love using this flashlight because it's so bright. The camera that I'll be using is my Nikon D750. Uh, I have a 24 millimeter lens on it. Uh, the settings were uh, ISO 640, uh, F4, and my exposure time was about two seconds. Uh, your exposure time will vary depending on how strong your flashlight is and just the effect that you're trying to create, how fast you're moving, and all that cool stuff. So. Um, again, that'll depend on you, but those are my settings for the image that I created. Okay, so this is Melissa Meyer. You might recognize her from my Instagram page. Uh, we work together all the time, and usually she's the really cool person that helps me test out stuff. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now before we turn the lights out is we're gonna show you a couple of traces that we like to do, and uh, just show you how I do them so you can see, and then we'll go lights out and you can see uh, it happen in action. Cool. So the first one is uh, around, and this actually has a really cool curve to it. Uh, it just kind of curls up a little bit and I kind of like that. So uh, I try to keep that facing in towards her and not away. You can do whatever you like, but this is my favorite. So if you keep it in, I start behind her to kind of keep that curl. And the flashlight is on strobe mode. That's how you get those blocks and those really cool stripes. Um, if you put it on solid, it's more of like a round adhesive look. But if you put it on strobe mode, then it gives you a really cool effect. And that's what I went for. So you start here and you just move around in a circle, rotating this as you turn. You go all the way around and back up. Now make sure when you get in front of the model, you wanna try and drop just a little bit so that the light isn't in her face and you won't light paint over her face and you can see uh, who it is, right? So we're coming around. I start high to get that really cool effect. I'll come around and I drop all the way around and then come back up around that way. It's a really cool shape and you can see the model space as well. Cool? Okay, so for the next couple of shots, we've added a stool and we've added an extra whip. So um, I like using two whips sometimes. It adds a really cool effect as well. And again, we're gonna be using the flashlights on strobe mode. Uh, so we get the really cool blocks. But when you add them together, uh, you get an overlap or uh, a multitude of blocks at the same time. So on this one, um, I'm just holding both of them together. Make sure you hold your flashlight so they don't fall out. And the curves don't really matter. You can have them go opposite or um, against each other, whatever you want. I'm keeping them almost the same here so they can kind of just roll at the same time. So uh, I started for this one, I start by her feet. And again, you're gonna roll around. A lot of this, uh, make sure you see and pose your model correctly uh, or according to you want to make sure you get enough ambient light on their face so that you also get to see who it is. Unless you're going for a silhouette, then that's up to you. But I like to get enough ambient light and move slow sometimes so that I light them as well. So if I start here, uh, I roll through here and I come around. Again, I like to keep the curve going inwards and I turn out. Yeah, so we go from here and I come around, maybe slow down around the face, create enough ambient light and then come around. Okay, so for this last one, I like to uh, sometimes switch it up. So I put them both together again, but I put one going up and out, and then the other one going in. So they're kind of going towards the same direction, uh, but a little bit of uh, a mixture here. So you hold them together, and again, they're on strobe mode. Uh, for this one, I just went around. So you start here, and I just come around here. Most of the time, you will be wearing black clothing. So try to make sure you wear gloves, uh, maybe a hood, so that the ambient light that you're trying to create on your model isn't shown off on you, and uh, then that way you're caught in the picture as well. Cool, so again, I just move from side to side. You can try and hide behind them, wrap around, in and 